Hi, my name is George Woodbury from the College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California. In this video, I'll help you learn how to solve profit and loss problems that involve a system of two equations and two unknowns. Here's an example. Naomi invested a total of $12,000 in two mutual funds. Last year, one account increased in value by 4%, but the other fund decreased in value by 15%. If Naomi's portfolio decreased in value by a total of $1,135, how much was invested in each mutual fund? We begin by declaring our unknowns. In this problem, there are two unknowns, the amount invested in the first mutual fund and the amount invested in the second mutual fund. We'll let X and Y represent these two unknowns. We begin by finding a first equation for our system, and it comes from the fact that we know she invested a total of $12,000. That means the amount invested in the first account plus the amount in the second mutual fund have to total $12,000, or X plus Y equals $12,000. Now we look for our second equation. We know that one fund increased in value by 4% and the other decreased in value by 15%. That means that the amount that was earned from the first mutual, fu mutual fund is 0.04x, the percent multiplied by the amount invested. Since the second account decreased in value, we're going to multiply negative 0.15 by y. We know that these two must produce a total loss of $1,135, so 0.04x minus 0.15y is equal to negative 1135 will be our second equation in the system. To solve this system of equations, we'll begin by clearing the second equation of decimals. This can be done by multiplying both sides of the equation by 100. Now we have a system that can be solved using the addition method. If we multiply the first equation on both sides by 15, the coefficients of the y terms will be opposites. Therefore, when we add the equations together, we'll be left with one equation with the variable x. Multiplying the first equation by 15 on both sides, we get 15x plus 15y. And on the other side, 15 times 12,000 is 180,000. When we add these two equations together, we're left with the equation 19x equals 66,500. This can be solved by dividing both sides by 19, and we find that x is equal to 3,500. Now that we've found how much Naomi invested in the first fund, it's time to move on to the second fund. Substitute 3,500 for x and solve for y in the first equation of our system. Solving for y, we get 8,500. So Naomi invested $3,500 in the first mutual fund and $8,500 in the second mutual fund. The one thing to be careful with in these problems, if there's a loss, that quantity will be negative. If there's a profit, for instance, a mutual fund goes up in value, or you invest in a bank account that pays a certain interest, those quantities will be positive. Sample problems of this type can be found on my website, georgewoodbury.com. The problems can be found under the handouts page, and an answer key can be found there as well. If you need any help, you can reach me through the contact page on the website.